Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft is busy rolling out our optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10 22H2 for September 2024. And the update once again rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 24th of September. And the update is just that, it's optional, unless you have this toggle turned on, and then it will become a mandatory update. And our latest bug fix update for Windows 10 22H2 is KB5043131. Now this is give or take, more or less the same update I posted on a couple of days ago when it was still in preview, but it has rolled out to stable with a couple of subtle differences. Now according to Microsoft, there are three key highlights for 5043131. And the first one is listed as a new feature for the start menu. Now, I wouldn't consider this to be a new feature, but Microsoft is saying it is new. And it is rolling out gradually. So you may see this, you may not, but just bringing this to your attention. Now, what it is all about is Microsoft is experimenting with multiple profile picture positionings for the start menu. So you might notice that the profile picture icon in the start menu appears in another location. I'm not seeing that yet. As mentioned, it is rolling out gradually. But something I am seeing is that you should also notice some changes to the left navigation bar in the start menu. Apparently, it'll have a darker color. Now, this does look a little bit darker to the rest of my start menu. So that's to easily distinguish it from the rest of the start menu area. So that those two little changes are listed as a new feature by Microsoft. Go check that out. Let me know if you've got those. And let me know be, uh, down below in the comments. I'll be interested to see if that's um, rolling out in other regions as well. So that's the new feature. Now we do get two key highlights. And those will be bug fixes because this is a bug fix update. And the first is for Internet Explorer mode. Um, where apparently Microsoft Edge sometimes stops responding when you use Internet Explorer mode. So that's a bug fix. And then there's a media playback fix where playback of some media might stop when you use certain surround sound technology. So those are our key highlights. And because this is, this is a non-security update, it will include other quality improvements. And we get one, two, three, four, five, six bug fixes when it comes to general fixes for the OS. So if you do want to stick around, I'm just going to go through these as quickly as possible. Now, there is a change for Microsoft Entra Single Sign-On, also known as SSO, where the SSO notice that the European Digital Markets Act DMA requires prompts to often. And what this is all about, basically, at the end of the day, is signing in with a Microsoft account on all supported apps. Um, but that stops with this update. So you won't have to sign in with a Microsoft account on supported apps in Windows 10. Um, apparently, that's um, been deprecated. And that's because, as mentioned, um, is a requirement by the DMA. So obviously, that will be in different regions. And then there's a country and operator settings asset where the update brings the country and operator settings asset profiles up to date for certain mobile operators. And apparently, there's a file explorer and taskbar um, fix where Windows Server stopped responding when you use apps like File Explorer and the taskbar. And then Windows Update opt-in notifications will now appear when you sign in. And I'm just going to leave one of those out. I don't think it'll be of any interest to your average home user. And then the last one out of the six to mention is Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Work Folders. Apparently, work folder files apparently were failing to sync when Defender for Endpoint is on. So there's a couple of extra bug fixes. So we've got eight bug fixes in total. And we've got one new feature according to Microsoft. Now, if you are interested to check the build upgrade after this update has been applied, we head to WinVer. And Windows 10 version 22H2, the OS build is now sitting on 19045.4957. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.